What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Do the Math here, and today we're going to talk about um, we're going to deal with percents, right? And so um, we're looking at um, figuring out what percent of a number is something, and all of those things, right? Those little fun questions, right? What is blank percent of blank? All of those questions. Let's check them out. So those questions derive from this particular equation here: a equals p times b, right? A represents um, A represents the um, the number, the part of the number. A represents the part of the number. P represents the percent, and B represents the whole number, right? Because remember, a percent represents a part of a whole, right? So, <clears throat> so essentially, that would be like, uh, what is P percent of what? P percent of B, right? And that's it, right? A, A is a percent. A is this. This is the percent. And B is the whole thing, right? That's where you're taking a percent from, all right? So um, there's that's one way to look at it, right? So you have this equation to look at. And then you have the proportion, which is the percent over 100 equals the part, right, over the whole number, right? And in the terms of APB, it'll be um, P over 100 equals A over B. So pause the, pause the uh, camera, I mean, pause the, sc the screen or whatever, the video to write this down, right? And we're gonna write, we're gonna work out our problems derived from this formula and this proportion. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna keep this APB up here, right? APB up here. Now we can leave the part part up too. Part percent whole, right? All right, here we go. Let's look at the problem. So, what is three percent of one hundred and fifty? All right, what is 3% of 150? Make sure it's straight for you. All right, <clears throat> what is the A? We don't know it. 3% is the P. 150 is the B. That's the whole number. The 150 is the whole number. All right, with that regard, let's write the equation out. So it's going to be A. We don't know it, so it's going to be X times 3%. We have to change 3% to a decimal. So it's going to be 0.03. Um, of 150, the whole number. So we're basically taking 3% of the whole 150, all right? Um, let's do it right fast. Click, 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 click. 0.03 times 150 is four and a half. So X equals 4.5, right? So that's using the APB formula, right? Some of us, some of us are willing to like learn that one. And then some of us need to see it the old way, right? The old way or the, um, I don't know, the way I think. This is the way I think of it. Um, so let's look at it as a proportion. Uh-oh, I should have re erased that. They said, what is 3%? 3% is 3 over 100. Um, what? We don't know. A is unknown. B is 150. So the whole number is 150. Um, 150. Um, 3% of 150 is x right with proportions you cross multiply to do the math so let's do the math so three times 150 is 450 um equal to um x times 100 is 100 x from here you uh divide by 100 x equals 4.5 that's the same as the last equation right so that's one way to do it right let's look at another example so we found the part. This is how we find the part, right? The X is at the top. What if they said um, seven is 70% of um, what number? Now, in this case, we know the part. We know the percent. We just don't know what the whole number is, the big number is, right? So this is A. This is P. We don't know B. All right, let's throw it into this equation up here. A equals P 
we got to change the percent to a decimal. So we got to move the decimal place by five, two spaces. So 0.7 of X, we all know. Okay. Let's multiply. All right. Well, no, 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 we don't multiply. We just got to solve for X now. Since it's multiplying, we have to divide by 0 0.7. Divide 7 by 0 0.7, and you should get what I think you should get. 0 0.7. No, 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 clear. Clear, clear, clear. 7 divided by 0.7. Yeah, it's 10%. Yeah. 10 equals X. So 7 is 70% of 10. Yeah, duh, but that's the math, right? All right, let's look at it as a proportion right fast. All right, same old, same old. This time I'm going to leave the equation, the form, the question up so we can see it. All right, 70%, that's 70 over 100, equals that piece over the whole number. You feel me? You with me? All right, let's cross multiply. It's going to be 70x equals 7 times 100 is 700. Divide by 70, a key equal as ds, 10. Okay? Cool, cool, cool. The last part is finding the percent, right? The last example is the percent. So we found a part. We did the math to find a part. We did the math to find a whole number. Let's do one where we got to find a percent, right? <clears throat> so that'd be like, uh, what percent is... 3 of 50. Alright. How much of 3 what per, how much of 3 is 50? That's basically what they're asking. Right? So again, we don't know the P. We know the E is. We know the whole. Okay? So let's put it in our equation. So A equals P times the whole thing, right? Then from here, we just divide both sides by 50. Solve for x, all right? Three divided by 50, three divided by 50 gives us 0 0.06, right? 0 0.06, okay? Now we gotta convert, because this is written in the form where, um, this is written in this form, where it's converted into a decimal, I mean, yeah, decimal, we're going to convert this to percent. So we'll multiply that by 100. Multiply that by 100, we get 6%. 6% is 3 of 50. 3 is 6% of 50. Okay? Yeah. All right. And then we'll do it as a proportion, just like we've been doing all the other ones, right? So let's take the same formula. We don't know the percent this time, so it's x over 100 equals 3 over 50. Right? So it'll be, it, it actually looked the exact same way that it looked in the, um, in the last problem. Cross multiply, let's do the, we're doing the math now. So three times 100, 300, 50 times X, 5X, right? And then you divide um, by uh, 300 divided by 50 gives you six, right? X equals six, okay? So that's how we find um, our parts using the percent formula, right?